Hello everyone and welcome to this video on integrating Power BI with other applications. I am Tim Weinzaffel and in this video I'm going to continue talking about integrating Power Automate into your Power BI reports. Now in the last video I showed how you can embed a Power Automate button and uh, uh, include some data in there from your Power BI report and then use that uh, Power Automate flow to send automated emails. I'm gonna do a couple more videos to dig a little deeper on that process and actually go through some really specific topic areas. And in this video specifically, I'm gonna talk about how you can create a pop-up confirmation box. Now, one of the issues that you will run into when you do embed a Power Automate flow in your uh, report, which is via a button, there is no confirmation um, when you press that. And in this video, I will show how you can actually create one. So let me give you an example on the first issue that can happen and what can go wrong when you add in this button um, from Power Automate to send these automatic emails. So I've got a report open up here with a number of records showing. And let's say I accidentally trigger hit the button when I don't mean to. Now, what has happened is I've triggered the flow and it will go ahead and send out these nine emails. The problem is with a Power Automate button, there is no confirmation um, box that will pop up, you know, asking you, you know, are you sure you want to proceed? However, I'm going to give you another example where you can actually create one and we're going to walk through that real quick and it is really easy to do. So I've got a similar looking page. I've got a similar button. But if I click this one now, you'll see a box pops up and it's saying you have selected nine records. Do you want to continue? And then I can click here and say, say yes, and it's triggered. Now, the only downside to this approach is there is no way for the box to close automatically. You do have to hit a button here to have it close. But that is a very easy way to go ahead and create that confirmation. Now, let's walk through uh, how you go about doing this, because it, it, all it really involves is a couple of bookmarks and then creating that box. So let's head over to desktop and I will go ahead and create that. Let me walk through how I created this. So here I am in Power BI desktop and all this is that confirmation. So really it's composed of two things. First of all, the button, um, and I'm gonna go back to the original page. This is the Power Automate button that I've added in. What I've done is I've replaced it with just a standard button. And the action on this, which I will get to in a second, is just a simple bookmark. But let's go ahead and show the, the, uh, the confirmation box. And what I've got is you've got to have your selection pane open. And I've also got my bookmarks pane, so I'll walk through that. And just as a refresher, if you are not familiar with these, if you go to the view uh, up here and, and you'll see bookmarks and selection, make sure these are checked, and then this will open up. So let me go ahead and what I've done is I've created a group called confirmation. And let me go ahead and show that that complete visual. So this is a group here and it can really just consist of four elements. The first one that I've applied is this gray background. Let me go ahead and hide these others so we can kind of walk through this. First one is this gray background. All this is is just a simple shape. You can see here um, I've just created a rectangle shape that covers the entire screen. And when I go into the formatting here, uh, all I did was uh, I got to click on it. Is simply fill that in. I give it a, a gray color, uh, do what looks good, and then I make it partially transparent. So it basically calls out the box and makes it stand out more. So that's the first thing I did. Next thing what I did is I added a. This is actually just a text box um, up here. Let me go ahead and select, click on that, and this is just a text box by going up into Insert and your text box. And then I've added in the text. Now this right here, the number nine, um, what I've done is I've actually used the smart visual. If you have not, not familiar with that, in your text box, and this is standard with every text boxes, if you go up here and then you hit value, you can actually add in a measure. So in my case, I wanted to add in a measure. Let me quickly go here. Um, if I were to go down, if I wanted to add in total count here, and I add in a measure, I can go up to value, and then it'll ask questions. Now I have a measure called total count, and when I type it, there it is. Uh, I can name it, so I'll call this total count. I'll actually call it total count two, because I already have one. 
and then there it is. It's and now I can form. I can highlight this, and it'll format it. So that's a really easy way to create a simple, um, a smart narrative is is what it's referred to. But it allows you to um, this value will change dynamically. So, but going back to this again, this is just a standard text box, which is right here. Um, then I made it large enough, and then I changed the color. What I've done here now is I've added in the actual bookmark. That's the one from the um, previous page. And then one more thing that I added is a cancel a button. So let me make that visual. And I've just, this is a standard button and I have it say cancel close. Now I group all those by selecting them all. If you select, anytime you select something, if I, if I select uh, several items and I hit right click, I can do a group. Grouping it is, makes this so much easier for bookmarks. So that's the first thing I did is I went ahead and created the, um, this confirmation section and then I, I grouped it into uh, one group. Now, the only other thing that I needed to do was create a couple of bookmarks. Now I have two bookmarks, one that shows this group and one it hides it. So over here, you'll see if I click on hide confirmation and then show confirmation. So. Uh, simply that was real easy to create all I did was let me go ahead and create a simple one is I add a new bookmark and let's say we want to show confirmation I'll just call this number two make sure you have your group selected I got to make sure it's selected so there it's great out there go into the ellipsis go to selected visuals because you only want this to be selected re-click it again uh, uncheck data and then click it one more time and make sure you do update so now if I go back to this bookmark, there it is. And with hiding, it's the same thing. You just go on it, select it, and then um, you'll see it's hidden. So let me go ahead and create that real quickly. And hide information two. And again, what I'll do is I will click on it um, and I make sure it is hidden. So let me go ahead and hide it, select it. Selected visuals, uncheck data, and update. Always have to make sure you update. And there you go. I've got my two different bookmarks. Now that I have my bookmarks, it's very easy because I go into each button and put in the applicable bookmark. So if I click on this button here, I go into action, change it to bookmark like I have selected, and then choose your bookmark. And I've already got one selected. And then um, when you go ahead now and click on it, it'll hide it and then go back to this button and simply do the same thing. Add in your, add in your button, your action, your bookmark, and the appropriate one. So right there is all you need to do to create that pop-up box. Now, again, the only thing that, um, that you have to be able to do in order to uh, close it, and let me see if I just go ahead and show that, um, when you're displaying it is it doesn't disappear automatically. You have to you know, create this little close button so that it'll go away. So in my next video, I'm going to show how you can apply better formatting to those emails to really add uh, more to it. So make sure you, if you like this, make sure you subscribe and definitely uh, keep an eye out for that next video. Thank you.